Today we're going to take a look at a very special flashlight, in my opinion. This is a light that you probably haven't seen or heard too much about. This is GearBest's Zanflare F1. This is their first entry into the flashlight world and actually is getting some high praises over at Candle Power Forums and Budget Light Forums. And you're going to see that it gets some high praises from me as well, especially for being their first production flashlight. The Zanflare actually impressed me right out of the box. It's got good packaging and overall it's just a very nice looking light. It's got some unique features to it. It looks different than most of the flashlights that are out there other than, you know, it is shaped very similar to any other 18650 flashlight, but the knurling on it is a little bit different and some of the other features on it are a little bit different as well. It's got a deep clear reflector, it runs an XPL V6 LED and again maxes out at 1240 lumens in what they call their flare mode. It has again just this pretty cool texture to it. It's got a larger ring up top here that holds the main mode button. All the buttons on this light as far as I can tell are metal and it's very well constructed throughout. On the body here you have again sort of this striped knurling here which is nice and then on the tail cap you have more of that straight knurling. Now again, it does have the side mode button switch and it also has a tail clicky. You get a very solid click out of not only the tail cap, but also the mode switch. So it's very easy to know that you're pushing the button. Now the tail cap is not momentary. It is just on and off. The operation is very easy as well, which we'll go over in a moment. A little more about the outside of this light. You do get a titanium coated pocket clip. One thing to note about the pocket clip is that it does clip on to the actual battery cover on the back so that when you are unscrewing the battery, it will rub on the main housing of the body. Sometimes they put them on the body so that it doesn't do that. But in my testing, I haven't seen it to scratch. I've unscrewed this and screwed it on uh, a few times and I'm not seeing any rubbing or anything like that. So that is cool. You can just pop the pocket clip right off just like you can on most flashlights. It comes with a nice lanyard. It's got not only an adjustment here, but it also has a bead on it. And then it has a quick release, which is very cool as well. So if you don't want your lanyard on your uh, flashlight, you can just use the quick release. So I find that, uh, you know, a, a nice little touch. Certainly uh, not anything that's gonna make or break the light, but again, this light just has several nice little touches to it that in my opinion, make it a great entry. Yeah, as their first flashlight. So the light is USB rechargeable. And again, something a little bit different with this light. Generally, you'll find it on the tail cap. It'll be a cover that pops off or you'll find a cover, uh, you know, like on the opposite side of the mode button that'll pop off. Those dust covers can come off. For this light, you actually have this bezel that unscrews, which at first it wasn't screwed all the way in when I received the light. So it sort of just popped back and forth like this. And I thought, oh boy, you know, you're gonna put that in a sheath or in your pocket or in a pack or something, and it's just gonna slip open. But it actually does screw shut and it screws shut quite tightly. So when it's screwed in, there's no way you're gonna move that. You actually do have to physically unscrew this bezel here to get to the USB port. It is micro USB, thank God. They put a micro USB on that and not some proprietary charging mechanism. And then there is actually two O-rings in here, which is very, very nice. There's an O-ring that seals it up uh, at the top. And then there's an O-ring that seals off the bottom below the micro USB port. So you're protected there top and bottom from uh, you know dust and also from water. This light is IPX8 waterproof. I've dunked it in the water and no water seems to get through those two o-rings so that's very nice as well you notice on this tail cap there is a little glass breaker there they call it a little hammer punch there so you know it doesn't protrude very far to where you're going to rub your finger on it or anything like that it is there i assume you could use that to punch out a window more likely than not you're just going to blunt force through the window and not worry about where that hammer is located but again it's a little touch that uh that is there nonetheless when you unscrew the battery compartment, again, that tail cap comes with you, but you get access to your 18650 battery, which easily slides in and out. One thing I did notice is that it doesn't have any lubrication on the tail cap here, so it is quite loud when you are screwing it um, 
on and off so I'll add a little bit of maybe like little silicone uh, sealer there little 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 oil there to uh, to lube that up a bit other than that the fit and finish is very nice overall again I really like that micro USB the way that they have that there feels great in the hand and operation as you're gonna see in a moment is very nice and easy as well flashlights range anywhere from very easy to operate to very difficult to operate with different custom menus and modes and things you can turn on and off especially when you get into the dual uh, button setup but they've made this light very easy unlike some lights that you can actually operate from the tail cap and from the mode button the only way to turn this light on and off is from the tail uh, clicky so that is easy right off the bat you want the light on you simply just turn it on you want it off you simply just turn it off when the lights on you step through your mode buttons just by clicking the side mode button run times and mode spacing on this light I do like as well you start off with a nice low one lumen mode generally on an 18650 or bigger flashlight you'll get like a 10 lumen mode as your lowest this one does drop all the way down to one lumen I like that it doesn't go under a lumen though because that to me less than a lumen I don't I just don't use it I know some people use it for reading and things like that but I like to have the one lumen mode for indoors uh, or for when you just want a very very low light setting then we can step up here to 50 lumens that will run for 22 hours the one lumen uh, will run for 550 hours so it'll run forever the uh, 50 lumens as you see here will run for 22 hours then we step up to 290 lumens which is very bright six hours then on up to its high which is 590 lumens this will run for two and a half hours so for me, the mode spacing is really nice. And then you have their flare mode, which jumps the light up to 1240 lumens, and that will run for 30 seconds before stepping down. So you do have that nice, bright flare mode uh, in case you do need it, and it does run for a full 30 seconds. What happens after the 30 seconds is that it'll actually dim back down to its one lumen mode. So I like that, it works well. Again, it's very easy to operate. Your mode button just cycles through your different modes and your tail cap turns the light on and off. There is also some special modes to this flashlight. You can hold down the side button for three seconds and it will put you into its strobe mode and then you can cycle into its SOS mode just by, again, pressing the mode button to cycle through. And then we can just turn the light back off and when we turn it back on, it's gonna automatically go back down to its lowest now it does have memory so if we step it up to let's say the uh, 50 lumens here we turn it off we turn it back on it's going to come right back to that 50 lumen mode however when you're using the flare mode or turbo uh, it will step down to its its moonlight mode and then you go from there so charging the light very simple as well you unscrew the bezel here and get access to your micro usb and then you just go ahead and plug in a micro USB cable now you'll notice that the light does illuminate the little LED there does illuminate green you do actually have to have the light turned on for it to charge so when you turn the light on by depressing the uh, tail cap you're not going to get any light but you're going to get the red indicator there which will turn green once it's fully charged a few other things I like about the Zan flare I like that it can't be accessed from the mode switch as I said earlier you do actually physically have to press that tail cap which is not a momentary tail cap so there's really no lockout or anything like that it's pretty much locked out it's not going to activate itself in a pocket or in a sheath so that's nice it also will give you two flashes I believe when it's low on battery and when it's too low to operate it's going to give you three flashes and that'll let you know to charge the battery back up it does take several hours to charge the battery when using a high quality 18650 all right let's walk around a bit can't really see anything in the one lumen mode let's jump up to 50 lumens plenty of light for walking around your media area shoots a nice beam plenty of light for use in your general area we can go up again to 290 lumens my favorite lumen setting you can see here we can light up the trees no problem light up our immediate area no problem the beam shoots quite a distance even at 290 lumens this will also run 
for six hours so you get a nice amount of runtime with this level of brightness. You can go up one more to the 590. You can see that we can shoot quite a ways with that. Even over to that far tree. Very bright, very nice beam. Perfect mix of flood and spot, which is what I like. Then we can jump to our 1240 lumens. Really bright, will shine all the way back there. Can even hit those trees way off in the distance. No problem lighting up our immediate area. Lots of light. Very nice tint to it as well. Definitely more of a neutral white. And there it stepped down to low after 30 seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at the Zanflare F1, a great light being their first light that they've designed. I really don't have anything bad to say about it, and it seems like nobody else really does either. It operates great, it's very easy to use, it's very durable. I like the different, unique design to it, and I really like that, that uh, the way that the, um, the uh, micro USB is hidden in there. It reminds me of some of the Nikkor lights that have the slide uh, housing that slides down, although this one screws shut, so it cannot come open. I really like that. Again, mode is very, uh, the modes are very easy to operate. They make sense. It's, you know, got a very quick learning curve, which some flashlights definitely do not. It's a good quality light and it's got a nice price to it. $39 and I also have a coupon code. So I'm going to put all that information down below. Again, you guys know I've worked with GearBest a bunch in the past. Other than their slow shipping because it comes from China, not their fault. They have great prices on some great products. I don't review everything that they that they would like me to review. I pick and choose just like I do any other product on this channel. This being a home run in my book as far as their first light. As far as flashlights go, I'm interested to see where they go from here with this style flashlight. So again, I'm going to leave some links below to where you can pick one of these up for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Please share this video to anybody who might be interested on your social media. And as always, click that red subscribe button. Subscribe for new gear videos weekly.